We continue our series on TaiCon and take a sneak peek at the Thai Women's Forum at TaiCon 2012 and have two guests with us today, Minu Gupta from Citrix and one of the Thai Women Forum leaders, as well as Julie Little from Ericsson. Welcome, ladies. So first of all, let's get a little information about what Thai Women's Forum is and what's going on at TaiCon 2012 this year. So Thai Women's Forum is a subset of Thai um, organization. Thai organization has been around for 20 years and has been focused on entrepreneurs as well as uh, fostering and educating and mentoring them. So we want to make sure that women are not left behind and continue to bring more panels and speakers to serve, serve them as well. So what's at TaiCon 2012 this year? TICON 2012 uh, for Women's Forum is, uh, pr is going to have three sessions, two panels, as well as one speaker session. One panel will be focused on, focused on climbing executive ladder okay. for women professionals. And the second one will be for entrepreneur women who are starting their own companies and figuring out what their challenges are. Third session is a learning session, which can be used for anybody. It's about mastering the body language for influence and power at the workplace. That sounds actually very interesting. I'm absolutely going to be there. So what about you? Why are you involved in Thai Women's Forum? So last year, uh, one of the Thai volunteers uh, just, you know, was telling me about the Thai organization and telling me how great it is to be working, you know, shoulder to shoulder and bringing some of these uh, great uh, educational programs to different people and, you know, wanted to hear my views on, you know, what I've been doing. So I told him about being involved at Citrix uh, Women Programs and he said, why don't you bring your ideas to Thai? And so I, you know, I came on board and, you know, little did I know I'd be working with an amazing team to putting on a conference. So. It's amazing actually to even have you. We've learned a lot and get the opportunity to get more speakers coming. It's just wonderful. So Julie Little is here also with us. She is going to be on the panel for Climbing the Corporate Ladder. And I think it's called Climbing the Corporate Ladder, Is It Your Cup of Tea? Right? So Judy, tell us a little bit about what are your thoughts about women in technology and why should they be in technology? Okay, well, first of all, there aren't enough women in technology. And with 60% of undergraduates coming through that are women um, and only 20% going into computer science, um, it's, it's a real loss for, for the economy and for our growth and for, for America's competitiveness because you need diversity to, to develop products um, where women are, are ma the main consumers. Um, and we see some industries, and an example of this is the gaming industry, where a lot of the developers and coders are men. And so you get games that really only sell to men. So this is a huge opportunity just in that specific area. Yeah, I actually think of it myself. I mean, gaming and, and constant, you know, Mortal Kombat and gore. I wonder sometimes, where are the games for the rest of us? <laughs> well, I think you've had a very interesting career yourself. You're a successful executive. And, you know, what's all the passion behind your ambition? Where did it come from? Okay, so so I always wanted to continue to learn. I had a had a really um, I did an engineering degree, and there were lots of different things happening. And then you get into industry, and you want to continue that momentum. You want to continue learning, and you really want to make a difference. And technology provides that. I, I chose an industry in the mobile industry where the, there's been a huge shift, and and now we have so many people out there with mobile connections to to really change people's lives. So your story is of, of one that I think is great, um, you know, a great role model. So I, I think you could maybe share with us some of the tips you've learned across the way. For example, what are the things that women should think about when it comes to a long-term career? Also, what are some of the challenges and some of the su successes that you've seen, uh, you know, help women become, uh, you know, or climb that corporate ladder, I should say? Sure. I mean, if, if I'm looking at what, what can make a woman successful and, and perhaps some of the path, I... I, I chose to, to follow. It, it's basically about having the courage to do something you really know nothing about and, and knowing inside yourself that you can do this. Everybody else is out there and it's, it's really about doing it and it's about having the courage and, and then having the confidence to do it and then also getting, um, continue to change and learn and grow. So for women that are just starting their career, is there anything you could recommend about them looking forward? What should they think about? What should they consider? What's important? Technology is great because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's exciting. You can make a difference and you can do it. Don't miss an inspiring and insightful TICOM 2012 for amazing tracks on entrepreneurship and specialty programs. Connect, innovate and prosper at TICOM 2012, May 18th, 19th, Santa Clara Convention Center, www.ticon.org. Join, Join us at TICOM 2012. 2012.